Hey guys, Jessica Damu here with another Gundam review, and today I am reviewing the X model Gundam travel trailer. Or transport trailer, rather. So, this is a trailer for transporting Federation mobile suits. You can see it in the first episode of Mobile Suit Gundam. It's what the Gundam wakes up from its nap on. And uh, it's very true to the details. By the way, this was model built for me by my friend, uh, Joey Bassett. And uh, special thanks to him for building this for me. Next door to it, I have the Xeon one, which I have a review for it. And that was built by uh, 100 Roach here on YouTube. And uh, very cool to see them both side by side. So we can see there's little, little, you know, ladders. You've got to be careful with those, especially the front one. You don't want to nick those. The wheels don't actually roll, but they look cool. The underneath still has detail, so that's nice. You can see this thing is not made for going over bumps or large rocks or anything. I kind of... Given the choice between trying to transport something on this or this, I would pick this just because I think it's got more clearance. Well, not much more. Yeah, but they're true to the show. <laughs> but I can expect this thing to get stuck somewhere. You did a great job on the glass here, kind of giving it that glossy look. Really, really great. It, sometimes in the show, you'll see it where the seat thing has risen so the mobile suit can get off you know but unfortunately it doesn't do that your options are on or on or off you know and it plugs into these little holes the mobile suit fits on there either way it has no real storage place for weapons your mobile suit needs to hold its own weapons while it's on there and ideally well we're gonna get to to scale here in a moment. This is the MSAA version 2 GM and it looks really good on there. It looks completely at home and matches up quite nicely with the anime. Even with uh, this here. There we go. It fits quite nicely in there. It actually looks right in my opinion. However, you know, this is a model kit. It's an X model. It's ideally built for 1144 scale mobile suits. The question is, do 1144 scale mobile suits actually fit on the booger? And the answer is... Sort of. It just barely fits. It, it seems kind of like an adult sleeping in a baby bed. I actually one time did go to a hotel that had short beds. And uh, <laughs> your feet come out all like that. <laughs> Somewhere in Montana. Kind of has that feel. This is my robot Damashi GM Sniper 2. He's kind of missing his head at the moment because it's being resin casted by my friend Joshua Cerna. So I can adapt it and make it into a GM uh, command. So they're very similar. So it will work for 1144 scale mobile suits. And it does work better than the Xeon trailer. The Xeon trailer had the downside of, of anything you put on it, particularly Xeon, the arms hung over the edge. This has a slimmer build than your Zaku, so it actually looks okay. But, uh, yeah, Zaku model kits and whatnot, their arms were just kind of hanging over the edge, and it was kind of like, ugh. Oh. You know, it didn't work out very well. So this actually works out pretty well with 1144 scale. Better than the Xeon trailer. It looks more natural. But I still think it's a better fit for the MSA. And that's fine, because that's what I collect and do stop motion animation with. Well, if you need a trailer to go with your MSA or your 1144 scale model kits, make sure to look for this. It can be a little hard to find, but if you shop around, sometimes you can get a good deal. I ended up getting mine when... uh. Hobbywave.com was going out of business, so I lucked out there. Hope you enjoyed the review. Make sure to like, favorite, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.